Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Family, following the crackdown on dissenting voices in Zimbabwe by the dictator Emerson Mnangagwa, we have seen quite a lot of criticism and pressure that is coming from different uh, people, different organizations, and uh, people are speaking out, condemning uh, the acts of Mnangagwa, the acts of brutality, arresting people that are innocent and even failing to prove in court why they have arrested people. Among many people that have spoken was also Lynette Karen Kore. And because of a statement, she has come under fire. Karen Kore under fire for a fake solidarity message on Namatai et al. So this is very, very exciting. You see, I think Zimbabweans have reached a point where they don't want to be hoodwinked. They don't want to be, you know, cheated anymore. Zimbabwean people no longer want people that are coming with their crocodile tears. And uh, this is why... I think Kareni Kore has come under fire because people are, support, are are looking at a concern as a fake concern, as some kind of crocodile tears that uh, she's crying here, especially after what she has decided to do with her political career of joining uh, the Nube and the Shabangus and uh, dumping the rest of the citizens. And that on its own, uh, it has created a tension right between uh, Kareni Kore and the citizens and citizens no longer trust her, they no longer want to hear anything to do with her. So uh, I was going to be showing you quite a lot of responses that came from people after she sent a message. But uh, you know, some of us uh, in Zimbabweans, the language that we end up using now, uh, I may not uh, be you know, comfortable to open uh, those other messages that people have been giving, the comments on this very tweet that she wrote. So she says, uh, there are pivotal moments that demand our attention times when a, a familial and a national crisis converge today as a woman i'm deeply disheartened by the arbitrary arrest abduction and torture inflicted upon our fellow citizens especially women these actions not only tarnish our nation's reputation but also betray the fundamental rights and dignity of those affected it is imperative that we sh we hold these injustices to allow our people the peace to pursue pursue their daily lives without fear. Releasing all political prisoners unjustly detained should be our first step. I earnestly hope that those in power will heed this call for justice and compassion. Right. While she chose very selectively her words uh, to really come up with a quite a convincing message, a, you know, a well-built message. Ah, people did not take it lightly. So she first started to receive an attack and uh, uh, this other individual says, uh, you sell out. It's fake sympathy and false calls from you. How do you explain going to bed with a crazed Mamvura type full of, ch of uh, uh, Chabangu's caliber? You, you have zero uh, standing left, ma'am. You are that, uh, that disgraceful. Right. Uh, and quite a lot of other people have really commented, uh, like I said, uh, down there because of uh, what she has done. Uh, someone says that uh, uh, looks like you are just writing this just because everyone is doing so and you have no option. You are still in the same regime masquerading as an opposition figure, sanitizing Mnangagwa's Ill illegitimacy. You were all supposed to pull out of this charade. You are too playful, am I? <laughs> uh, and the other person says, Taita Lineti, Amunakupeza, Munamatowenyu, Vudzaiva, Navema Shamari. Kutisia na inetsika yoku yoku rama yoku yoku rama ne rama ne miri shonga vaya vano imakeri activist okay I think this one is a this one is a murakash this one you see is NPF even happy that she has said this uh, this one says no if you want to be involved in nonsense then also be ready to pay the ultimate price okay I think you, can you see that uh, uh, someone is saying please please sit down you are part of this if tinyare imbuya imi ngah and uh, right, I, I, I am about to get to where I don't want to get to, where I saw some other comments that are 
very, very, you know, uh, vulgar, and we can't be able to have them here. So this is what is happening. Uh, the people of Zimbabwe are calling it crocodile deer as a fake concern, and they have nothing to do with it. They don't want to hear about it. And Karenyu Kore, I'm sure she has lost the trust of the Zimbabwean people. And do you blame Zimbabwean people? You can't blame Zimbabwean people because all these guys that have sold out our struggle, I'm telling you, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for us ever to understand them, no matter what ever reasons that they may come up with to try and explain themselves out. I don't see them ever uh, being able to convince us what really caused them to do the way that they've done. Uh, because everyone had a choice. This was a matter of choice. Everyone had a choice to walk away or to remain uh, entangled in this uh, charade that we have seen uh, Emerson Nangagwa and Shabangu. And of course, people like Nube have dipped down, jumped down by the head into the into that pond of uh, of of mud. And you know, one thing that is also surprising: you never, we have never heard Nube talking about it. Where is Nube? <laughs> Nube is hiding somewhere in Bulawayo. He can't even come out to speak uh, to speak about this and uh, comment about what is happening in the nation. But these are the people that were claiming. And that we're saying we are not being given opportunity to lead. We also want to be leading. They wanted Chamisa to go so that they can come in. And they were overzealous, you know, proving like they are going to be doing uh, quite great wonders when they get opportunity. Nube has been made the leader of the opposition, the president of the opposition. If this is what he has been waiting for, for all the years, he has been given the chance. Why doesn't he now prove himself? He must prove himself now. So unfortunately, now you simply got that medal of saying president, and then you you went to your farm and you are hiding there. And you, that is that what you call politics? Not even a tweet, nothing. Not even a cough, zero dololo. There's nothing that Nube has ever said about what we are looking at happening in the in the country. And can we still talk about any opposition? Definitely not. There is no opposition in Zimbabwe. So for people like Kareni Kore, I don't think that is uh, going to be acceptable. Whatever that she's writing, Zimbabwean people are not buying it. Zimbabwean people are strongly against it. What you have done and that caliber, that, that cabal, in fact, of uh, the, the, the Shabang caliber, we don't want to see them. We can't accept them and we will never understand the language that they speak. Because you can't come and convince us again that you are still cadres of the liberation to free Zimbabwe from the dictatorship and the oppression of Emerson Nangagwa and Zanpio. You can't tell us that uh, you, you are still fighting the war. Because how are you fighting? We are not seeing anything moving at all. Zanpio is so relaxed. Zanpio has removed its shoes and it put its, 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 its feet right on the windowsill, asleep, knowing that there is no harm. There's no problem. It's only now when Zimbabwean people have started to talk about demonstrations and now they are coming out. You have heard that, that motor mouth foolish one, Mutsuangwa saying, Chamisa, Chamisa. Why are you putting Chamisa in it? Chamisa has never spoken about demonstrations. Never at one point. Can you see that these people, what I've always been talking about, that ZANU PF had told themselves that Zimbabwean people are used to having one John Rambo ahead. And the moment we take John Rambo out, the whole struggle crumbles. Now they've seen that we have shifted. Now we have started to organize the, 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 the demonstration without Chamisa. Chamisa is out of it. He has not said anything about it. It's us, who, Zimbabwean people, Zimbabwean people, not even of any political party. I hate saying triple C, triple C. What triple C are they talking about? Triple C is for Nube and Shabang. Why is Mchwangwa talking about triple C? Which triple C now? Triple C is there in your parliament. It's a bastardized party. It's a surrogate party of yours. Don't tell us about triple C. There's no triple C anymore. The one that is there, you have it under your armpits, right in your in your in, in your Chinese building there. So I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, we are going to be talking about that statement of Mchangwa later in the evening, or what he said about the issues of our demonstrations. But what we are saying is, families, it's this Zimbabwean people. It has nothing to do with party. There is no party name. There is no nothing. It's just citizens of Zimbabwe who are saying we are tired of dictatorship. We are, not, we are not partisan. We don't have any party that we can say this is the party that is involved in this. No, it's people of Zimbabwe. And now ZANU-PF is not used to it. They are not used to having Zimbabwean people ordinarily not linked to any party deciding to fight for their rights. You see? They just want to fit us somewhere. No, 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 no. You must fit to some political party. No, there's no political party. What they fear is that 
once we come as citizens with no political party and no leader the fear that they have is we, we will have some other people from ZANPF joining us that's one thing they fear that's why they want to coin it to say it's a triple c thing but unfortunately this time around they are not going to win we will continue to push on the demonstrations are on family zimbabwean people wherever you are the demonstrations are on we are moving on and we are taking our country there is nobody who is going to stop this this is a moving train this is the season of change and we are fighting to make sure that we remove this dictatorship that has caused so much suffering to our people for a very very long time they don't respect elections they don't respect the voice of the people of zimbabwe they don't respect democracy they put people that are not supposed to be in prison in prison okay, what kind of a government is that you know prison is not a is not a, a joke it's not a walk in the park that's a painful place it's a painful especially in zimbabwe where we have prisons that don't have toilets that that flush no toilets people are using bucket system in their in the prisons people are sleeping uh, pegged like sardines you, when you sleep on one side you, there is no other side that you can turn you just imagine and people are you, are suffering they are some who are sick who have tuberculosis there everyone is just fitted in that sm small room and you think that's easy it's not there is no food there is no diet there People are just eating, you know, beans with water and then some kind of millimeal that is mixed with water. Not even pap. I'm not talking about pap. I'm talking about millimeal mixed with water. And that is, that's not life. That's not life. And nobody who has not committed a crime, even those that have committed crime, they deserve, prisoners have rights to. They have rights to, a, to, good, to good food. They have rights to good accommodation. They have rights to, to have visitation. They have, right, they have rights. But unfortunately in Zimbabwe, if, you can, if we don't have rights when we are still in our houses and walking in the streets, what more about the people that are in the prisons? And Mnangagwa want to take someone who has not committed any crime and throw them there. And they think that we are going to be smiling at that. We are not smiling at that. So Kareni Kore must just swallow her words Swallow your words. Those are yours. Don't come here with your crocodile tears. Just go away. You made your choice. You decided to sell the struggle and you decided to take your side. That side is yours. Nobody forced you to go there. If you wanted to remain with the rest of the family of Zimbabwe, you should have pulled out and said, I am not going to be part of this. And that would have made you a hero of the struggle for the freedom of a new great Zimbabwe that we are going to be seeing very soon coming. As for people like Karen Kore and all that cabal of the Triple C, you are going into the dustbin of history. We are going to forget about you, that you ever existed. And that is the truth on the ground. So this is what it is, family. Zimbabwean people are not taking it. Zimbabwean people are saying, take back your words. We are not, you are not with us and you are not part of us. Thank you so much for those that have joined us on this show. Uh, always remember to like the show and also put a comment so we also hear what you say and what you think about it. Thank you so much as you subscribe also for those that have not yet. Till we meet again in the upcoming show, you are blessed.